Hey guys, we're out here on the range today and I'm with Jason Burton, uh, in my opinion, one of the best 1911 custom builders in the entire world, I'd say that, uh, with confidence. Uh, maybe even the universe because you can't build 1911s on other planets as we know yet. So, however, we're out here just running some uh, drills. Jason just built me a brand new gun, so we're putting it through its paces and we figured we'd turn on a camera and share with you a drill that we're doing called Nine Ball. Because we know the 1911 is what a lot of people say a limited capacity you know use a glock or use a, another polymer type gun all great guns out there but uh you know the 1911 for me is is really near and dear to my heart because it's a gun that i carried for most of my career in in marine corps special operations and uh it's it's a it's a lifestyle gun right i mean would yeah. you agree yeah I mean, absolutely it's it's absolutely like for me for example if we were doing direct action missions we always had our 1911s on um, and it became kind of that symbol for us, you know, but there was times where I would have to make that command decision and go, wait, I'm about to go out on a uh, reconnaissance mission or a surveillance mission. I may not have uh, my carbine working all the time or you know, maybe I don't have a carbine. So I might want to have more of that, that Toyota instead of the NASCAR, maybe a Glock, maybe my Beretta at the time. And that way I had a flatter trajectory out to 100 yards. I had more bullets to deal with more problems. So that's kind of where my lifestyle took me with it. Uh, but I still feel like this gun is a part of me, and that's uh, why we wanted to share this video with you guys today. Yeah, 1911 has been you know, around for well over 100 years. I mean, we don't have to know much about them. It's a 100-year-old gun. How complicated could it be, right? Right. But the cool thing about it is, is it it's a great tool in the right hands of an educated shooter. And I think, you know, the 1911 gets talked both good and bad about in today's society. A lot of times people say, well, you know, it's an old, archaic gun duly noted it is old and archaic but it's got the job done for well over 100 years cool thing about the gun is how concealable the guns can be and again in in the hands of an educated trained shooter the guns can do magic they really can perform magic because you carry it every day because of yeah the concealability yeah number one yeah i you know i'm backing the gun up with a couple of spare magazines at a minimum all the time i already recognize that the gun is not going to hold enough bullets but you know many guns may not hold enough bullets lots of guys walk around walk around with five five shot you know, chief specials, that wouldn't necessarily be my first choice in the gun, but the 1911 has a great balance of capabilities. The bullet's a good bullet. 45 ACP is still a good round, as is the 9mm, guns in 9mm. I carry 45 ACP, 5 inch government model, all steel, all day long, inside the pants holster, backed up by a couple of spare magazines. I've never felt undergunned, never felt like I didn't have enough equipment. Dress around the gun, the gun can become a lifestyle for you. For me, of course, I'm building them as a living. I love the gun, what can I say? Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's a good point to lead on with this drill because of, let's say, that limited capacity thing there. Um, you want to be proficient, obviously you want to be proficient with reloads on it. But uh, a lot of people say, well, what kind of drills can I run with the 1911? Because, you know, we have a lot of guys come to our classes and they got, a, you know, 17 rounds in their gun. You got the one guy with the 1911 saying, hey, I can't do this 10, 12 round drill with you guys. So here's a good drill. It's called nine ball. So uh, we'll go ahead and run you through it. All right, so Jason's going to run the first nine ball. He's going to run it for precision. We start slow and then we build up to speed. So when you're running these drills, keep that in mind because a lot of times we come out here, we want to just go fast, but get the deliberate practice down first. So he's going to go for all A's. He's going to run it as clean as he possibly can. One on the steel, one on target one, four on target two, come back to target one with three. Nine ball, here we go. You ready, Jason? You're ready. Stay on by. First shot, 155. Total time, 640. 640. And a completely clean run. Good job. All right. Travis is going to run the nine ball drill now. Of course, he's using God's gun. Again, once more, on the buzzer, he's going to draw the gun. He's going to put one round on the piece of steel. We're simulating a headshot. He's then going to transition to target number one. One round. Go to target number two put four rounds, then go back to target number one and put three rounds in it for a total of nine rounds. He's gonna focus on doing, running the drill with speed. He's not gonna look for A hits this time. He's looking for just kind of that rough sight picture so he can get good, solid C zone hits, put the targets down. Shooter ready. Stand by. Total time, 437, first shot, 148. Travis is gonna do one more run. We're gonna try to pick up the pace yet again. 
see even if we can pick up the pace, clean up the shots, keep at least the consistency that we had on that last one. But now again, we're working on the speed component of it. Jitter ready. Ready. Stand by. One forty-six first shot, three fifty-five total time. So that's like cutting a second off your first time. Got two D's in there, so uh, not a big deal. They're not too far outside the C zone. Again, we're working on speed there. I can always bring that back a notch. So as if I was to do this again, I'd bring it down a tenth, and then see if I can really tighten those up a little bit more. But that's mostly stress site pitcher, stress site pitcher, meaning what you're going to see under a really like immediate body alarm response, you know, before it calms down a little bit where I can get that sight picture. So that's when I'm running there versus Jason running complete 100% precision. So we want to find a balance between both of those and then practice all three of them deliberately. And that's how you become better with any gun, not just God's gun. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm Travis Haley, it's Jason Burden. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you. Big Mac. And Taco Bell. Appreciate yeah. Right. You want to do the Whopper Challenge? Whopper Challenge. Ten Whoppers in two hours. Fuck that. Yeah, no puking, Dude, if no pooping. I one Whopper, I would vomit right now. <laughs> Travis is also known as a cookie monster. I don't know if you know that. You eat a lot of cookies. Not, not anymore. I've been doing well. It's chocolates. I'm a chocolate. I am a chocolate. All right. All the, the major, guy. all the major mm -hmm. sugar foods. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm not a big chocolate guy. I'm not a big chocolate guy. Really? I, no, no. I love me some sweet tea, but I'm not a big chocolate guy. Sweet, I'll tell you some sweet. I'm from the south, so. Oh yeah. 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 Well, I grew up. We didn't have any sweet tea, so yeah, I get it here now. I'm good that's, to go. That's, uh, so why don't you bet him something to do with since he's eating clean, not eating chocolate? Yeah, no, you can't I make can't, him do a you can't make him do a food bet. A food bet's bad because I don't want to see him puke. Ellison does this thing all the time. We bet everywhere we go on something, whether we're riding go karts, riding dirt bikes, riding whatever. It's always. So let's um. That's what you got to do. I, dude, we've been on. It's like 120 degrees on. So then let's bet. All right. Let's bet a 10 second par time, however many shots it takes to get a hit on that plate that's down there. From 300? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And oh. if you get a hit, no, if you don't get a hit, you have to do a video on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be great. You have to do a video on. You have to do a full on running rifle course video with what? a lever action 22. Start, yeah, we'll set up steel. We'll come out here. We'll set all the steel up. I'll, I'll bring the 22. I'll even let you use a 22 mag. So maybe you got a little more trajectory. Lever action 22. 22 mag or 22. You pick it. I got both. If you win. What do you mean a video? Like what? Oh, like we come out and we video it. I gotta film so me and Ellison will sit here and eat Big Macs and you do it. You running drills with that gun. Oh yeah, yeah. Two two four two. Shit right now. Yeah, the camera's running. <laughs> I gotta get. And if always... and if you win. You guys are dicks. All right. And if you hit it, so you got 10 seconds for as many rounds, okay? So like you load up a bunch of mags, and if you hit it, you do a video on, oh, this is gonna be a win-win, revolvers. Okay. And I just put plus P in there. Okay, so you're gonna be 10 seconds to just get a hit. A hit, plate. a hit, right. at 300. Okay. Bearing in mind that that is a 12 by 12 plate. And if I miss, I've gotta do a video on. Lever action 22s. If I hit. No, if you miss, lever action 22s. If you hit, Revolvers. What do I gotta do with revolvers? A video. Oh. It's a win win. Hey, all right, anyways, let's get it going. Right. You gotta do it. It's a win win. You gotta do it live. So let's go. Guns. Shooting guns. It's not that hard. It's only 300 yards. Just shoot at 300. You want more mags? Because you get all, you get 10 seconds. Oh, I better get the timer okay, now. Hold three. on. If it takes me more than three mags, we got a serious issue here. All right. Hold on. I'll Get, let's get up to the 300, so it's legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to cheat you out of 20 yards. Dude, it's five. Let me get this shit. It's five more yards. All good. right, so let me set a par time here of 10 seconds. You still filming this? Yeah. All right. So we'll well, we got to get. We got to show the range, so All we got to right. get up there. Where you are. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna give you 12 seconds because it just stopped on 12. So we'll go for 12. Right. So let me. So you can hear 12 seconds. I know you know what it sounds like, but here's 12. There's a start. Oh, that's a lot of shooting. That's easy. That's easy. Come on. It's easy to do. Hold on a second. Hold on. That's 12. Man, that's like <laughs> that's like all the time in the world. 300 yards. Yeah. As many. Hey, you see the target, right? Yeah. Is that little thing down there? Yeah. I know. 
All right. You want more mags? No, I'm just, just in case? I'm good. Okay. All right. All right. 12 second par time. As many shots as you want to get a hit on the steel. Are you, uh, are you filming? Oh, we're, we're rolling. Just in case I get this on the first hit. Oh, man. You get it on the first hit. Hey, what am I getting out of this? You're getting to shoot revolvers or lever gun 22s. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a win win, dude. Good. All right. Shooter ready. Stand by. That was the part time. Four shots in 1183. What? Yeah. Well, that last one was a hit. It hit the berm. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. So. I'll have to replay that. We go look at the steel. How are you going to look at the steel? We'll walk down here and look at it. That's a long walk. <laughs> oh my God. So you didn't hear anything, did you? No. No, all I hear is lever action 22s going off. That's, That's all right. I hear. So I think it's official. It'll be fun. Yeah. Say fun, kind of boring. Yeah. It's going to be interesting how you sling it up, but you know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So since I had the privilege of coming down here and grabbing some targets, I uh, I noticed that maybe he did actually hit it, but I don't think we're going to tell him, so 